Okay, go ahead and put number 18, multiplication with scientific notation, into your uh, table of contents. And uh, again, I put up here uh, shorthand. That's scientific notation. You can do that if you want. Okay, so for this one, examples I have for you. Uh, first some notes. Um, what you're going to do here is you're going to multiply coefficients. Coefficients. Okay. And you're going to keep base 10 exponent okay keep that s exponent with that um, times 10 okay and then uh, uh, make sure answer is in scientific notation. Again, I want to shorthand that. All right, so here's what IXL will give you. So number one, it'll have something like this, four times, and then I'll have two times 10 to the third. Okay, four times two times 10 to the third. Okay, so we're going to multiply those coefficients. Okay, those big numbers. 4 times 2, we're going to multiply those. 4 times 2 is 8. Okay. Now we're just going to keep the times 10 to the third. That's what you're going to put into IXL. Okay, 4 times 2 is 8, and we're going to just keep the times 10 to the third. All right, number 2. Let's do 6 times, okay, 5 times 10 squared. problem looks like. That's a small 2 there, exponent 2. Alright, so let's do this one. 6 times 5 is 30. Okay, and then keep the base 10 exponent times 10 squared. All right, but if you put this into IXL, it'll say it's wrong. All right, the 30 is not between 1 and 10, so it's not in scientific notation. So that last step, make sure the answer is in scientific notation, that's important. Okay, so we want the exponent between the 3 and the 0, right? So we're going to change the 30 to a 3. You can put it a 3 or you can put a 3.0, it's up to you, okay? So we went from 30 to 3. We made this whole thing smaller, so we need to make the exponent bigger, okay? Okay, so we made this smaller by one place value, so we need to make this exponent bigger by 1. Okay, so this is going to become a times 10 to the third. 3 times 10 to the third. Okay, let's do one more like that. Okay, so number 3. Uh, 4 times 7 times 10 to the third. Okay, so there's the problem in IXL. So we're going to do 4 times 7. 4 times 7 is 28. And then we're going to keep the times 10 to the third. But, okay, unlike number 1, where number 1, 4 times 2 was 8, you already had a number between 1 and 10. It's already in scientific notation. Here you need 4 times 7, you get 28. Okay, so not between 1 and 10. So again, we're going to move the decimal. We need the decimal between the 2 and the 8 to make it a 2.8. We went from 28 to 2.8. We made this smaller. So we need to make this bigger. We only moved, made it smaller by one decimal place. So we need to make this bigger by one. So from a three, it's going to go up to a four. 2.8 times 10 to the fourth. Okay. All right, let's do another one. Let's do number four. 
All right, so this one, let's do 80 times 5 times 10 to the 0. All right, so that's a 0 there. Okay, so we have to do 80 times 5. You can use Desmos if you want. Okay, but 80 times 5, basically what a 5 times 8 is 40. Then I have this extra 0, 400. Okay, again, you can use Desmos calculator if you want. 80 times 5 is 400. 80 times 5 is 400. I'm going to keep the times 10 to the 0. Okay, again, not scientific notation. I need that 400 to be a number between 1 and 10. So I'm going to put the decimal between that 4 and the 0. I'm going to change it to a 4. So you can put 4 or 4.0, it doesn't matter. Okay. All right, so I went from 400 to a 4. Okay, so this became smaller, so this has to become bigger. And notice from 400 to 4, I had to move the decimal two places. Okay, so this has to become bigger by 2 times 10 squared. Okay. This was the original problem. All right, number 5. Number 5, you have this 0 0.2 uh, times 5 times 10 to the negative 5. Okay. 0 0.2. So, what you have here, you can do Desmos. I'm going to go ahead and pull up Desmos. 0 0.2 times 5. Okay, so 0 0.2 times 5. So, I'm going to do 0 0.2 times 5. Okay, that gives me 1. Okay, so 0 0.2 times 5 gives me 1. So let me go back to this. So this gives me 1. And this is times 10 to the negative 5. Okay. This is already in scientific notation. Okay. So I don't have to do anything with it. Okay. okay. I'm going to do one more of these with you. Six. Let's put the six right here. All right. So for number six, uh, zero point six times one. I'm sorry, it's not gonna look like that in my Excel. Okay. I'll have a point times. Okay. One times ten to the fourth. Okay, that's the way it'll look in my Excel. All right, same thing, 0 0.6 times 1. Okay, you can do that in Desmos if you want. But if you multiply anything by 1, it's going to give you the same thing back. Okay, so 0 0.6 times 1 is just going to give me back 0 0.6. And I keep the times 10 to the 4th. Okay, but if you put this into IXL, I'll say it's wrong. That number is not between 1 and 10. It's less than 1. So I need to put decimal right there after the 6. Okay, so it'll be 6.0. So I went from 0 0.6 to 6.0, so coefficient went up. The exponent has to go down. Okay, And it looks like I only moved the one decimal place. So since the exponent uh, only moved one decimal place, I need to make this smaller by just 1. Okay, what you would put into IXL is 6 times 10 to the 3rd. Okay. And this was the original problem here. Okay. Uh, then you'll also see ones like this. Um, I'm going to skip a few lines here. Let's skip uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 lines. Okay. So skip 4, and I'll put number 7 here. I'm just going to do two more examples with you. So number 7 looks like this. 3 times 10 to the negative 4. Okay, times 2 times 10 to the negative 5. 
Okay, so all I'm going to do here is, for once like this, I'm going to multiply the coefficients. Okay, 3 times 2 is 6. I'm going to add the exponents, negative 4 plus negative 5, right, because it's multiplication, so I'm going to add. Okay, you can do that in Desmos if you want. Negative 4 plus negative 5 is negative 9. So I'll put a 6 times 10 to the negative 9. Okay, and everything is in scientific notation, right, or the answer is in scientific notation, so I don't have to adjust anything, move decimals or change exponents. Okay, so for ones like this, what you're doing is, um, ones like these, you're multiplying the coefficients, M-U-L-T, multiply coefficients and add exponents okay multiplying the coefficients and adding the exponents okay all right so I wasn't sure I think I moved it up I wasn't sure if you were able to see all that okay uh, but 3 times 2 is 6, and then I added the exponents. Negative 4 plus negative 5 is negative 9. Okay? And then the last thing you need to do is just make sure answer is in scientific notation. Okay? All right, so let's do one more then, number 8. Last one. I have here um, 3 times 10 squared, okay, times 3 times 10 to the 8th, okay, so multiply 3 times 3, that's 9, okay, and then keep, at, or, times 10, then you add the exponents, 2 plus 8 is 10. Okay, so 3 times 3 is 9, 2 plus 8 is 10, okay, so that's the answer, there was the problem.